Hi, welcome back to art class. Today I'm in a different location. I'm in the den. Um, one good reason is that there's much better lighting coming in through the window. So now when I share my doc cam with you, one moment. Look at that, much better. So today what we're going to do it's going to require two pieces of paper. Okay, so one, two. Um, this is what we're gonna end up doing. It's gonna look somewhat like this, okay? Um, so that's just my example. I'm gonna move it to the side. Now you need two pieces of paper, one pair of scissors, and um, a couple of crayons. Uh, the way that I did it, I used red, orange, and yellow and then also a red violet, okay? Looks like this, it's kind of hot pink or dark hot pink. Um, so you don't need to use those colors, but if you want it to look like the way that I did it, those are the ones I used, okay? If you don't have crayons at home, you can use colored pencils. It'll work pretty much the same. It'll maybe take a little bit longer. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is take one piece of paper and you are going to take, oops, let me do it with this one. You're going to take the edges and fold them, okay? So that, see how those edges have lined up? Now what you need to do is put your finger down and hold it. Put your other finger next to it and come towards the crease. Then move your finger out to the edge and out to the other edge, all right? Now you have a good crease. And look at your paper didn't move, it stayed lined up. So now you can take one of your crayons, right? You probably want the fold to be to your left and the open side to be towards your hand that you write with. And you are going to draw half of a heart, right? And then you're going to draw half of a raindrop. And then you're going to draw um, a V, a sideways V. All right. Oops, I should have made this more like that. You want your raindrop to be kind of flat on the bottom here. Okay, see that? That's how I should have drawn it. All right. So then. Get your scissors, make sure you are sitting when you do this, and you are going to start cutting your shapes. Now, because we have folded the paper in half, we're not cutting just half of a shape. We are cutting a whole shape because this fold line is what we call a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is where you have something that's exactly the same on both sides. It's like a mirror, right? And because I cut them out at the same time, both halves, they're exactly the same. All right, so there's my heart. Then I'm going to cut my teardrop. All right. There you go. Then I'm gonna need just pretty much two cuts. One. Two. And there is my square or diamond. All right now, just to make these easier for you to see, I have some other ones that I outlined in black a little bit. So I'm just gonna use those instead, okay? So now we have our shapes with their lines of symmetry. That's the fold mark, right? So now you're gonna need another sheet of paper. Um, just one moment. Let me share my screen again here. All right, here we go, we're back. So, now what you have to do is you need to take, let's say we all take our 
diamond or square or rectangle, whatever it is. And we are going to put it under our paper. See where my hand's going? Now that's where it is. And I'm gonna put my paper down. Okay, can you see where that is? So that I can feel it, it's right in here. All right, make sure you know where it is. And I'm gonna take my crayon and, oops, help the camera focus here for a second. It seems to be having a little bit of an issue just a moment. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna set that there to help it focus. So now that I have felt where my shape is, I'm gonna take my crayon and I happen to have a big crayon, right? If I were to use my crayon like this straight down, I'll move this so you can see my hands there too. If I were to hold my crayon like this straight down, it makes a very thin line. I don't want that, okay? Just very thin line. I wanna make a wide line to cover some area. So I'm gonna take some scrap paper and my crayon, and I'm just going to hold it while I hold it more flat towards the table and go like this, because you know what that's gonna do? That's going to give my crayon, see this big flat area here? That gives me more surface to work with. So now when I draw a line, covers a lot bigger area. Okay, so I'm going to rub this crayon so I can feel where the edges of my shape is, are. All right, I'm just gonna, I want the color, color to be solid all the way across it and a little past it, all right? That's how it's supposed to look. So there's one, we just did one diamond, all right? Now I'm gonna take the diamond, let me just look at this, and I am going to move it kinda over to the, up a little bit and to the side, right? So now it's kind of over here. So now I know where it is. I'm going to do the same thing. This is called making a rubbing. We are picking up the shape underneath the paper because that paper creates an edge, right? There we go. I'm gonna do one more, kind of at the top center, right? Somewhere up there. So I'm gonna do a third one. You can do this while I work. Um, if you need to pause the video to do it, certainly do that, okay? And if you wanna go back and watch it again and do it, that's fine too. So there's my third one. So now I'm going to take, where'd it go? Here it is. I'm gonna take, uh, let's see, my raindrop, right? I'm gonna put it down so that it's kind of up in my left, upper left-hand corner. I'm going to use my red violet after I have given it a nice flat side. Can you see that flat side there? Right, where's the edge? Here it is. Oops, I want a little more there. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Let's see where it is. Oh, there it is. All right, make sure you can see all those edges just really cleanly. All right. Now I'm gonna put it kind of to the left in the side. This is gonna take you probably a little bit longer to do and that's okay. We're just doing this as an exercise to keep our hand muscles in good shape, make sure that we get used to lining things up on paper. It's working on our skills seeing proportion. All right, so then I'm gonna do one, oops, let's see if I can keep that on camera. Way down here kind of at the bottom a little bit to the left. This is the left side, this is the right side. So I'm gonna do it more towards this side. There we 
we go. So now I have three squares and three raindrops. Now, when I'm doing three raindrops and three squares, each shape has a different color and it repeats itself a couple of times, right? Got a couple of them. So the fact that I have multiples, that gives me repetition, okay? And it creates immunity. Having different shapes that are different colors also gives me variety, right? And to give something a, a good visual appearance, to make it look good to your eye, it needs to have both unity and variety, right? Kind of all looks like it goes together then. So let me see, where is my, hmm. You know what? I forgot to make another shape. Should we make another one together? All right. So get your scrap paper or just fold another piece of paper. All you need is a rectangle, right? So I bet you can all cut out a rectangle. In fact, I've seen most of you do it. All right, here's my rectangle. Maybe I want it a little shorter. There we go. Now I've got a rectangle. I am going to place my rectangle kind of over here, kind of in between these shapes. And I'm going to use my orange. I'm going to get a nice flat area on it. Now notice I'm using some wider crayons, right? These are big crayons. And that's helping me fill the area faster too. we go. Now where there's already some other crayon down on the paper, the crayon might not pick up as well, okay? So don't worry about that. And I'm going to put my rectangle up, uh, up in, I think I want it to appear kind of like right in here, maybe like that. So I'm going to hold it there, place my paper down, all right? Now you might need to check and see a couple of times exactly where it is, if it's where you want it to be. And that's part of this exercise, all right? It's part of a skill that I want you to work on building. Let's see, where is it? And I'm having trouble finding it. There we go, I see. I wasn't making my stroke wide enough, so I wasn't feeling it. There it is. All right, now one more, where should I put it? I bet it looked good there. Maybe here. Mm, I think I'm gonna put it like that. Don't worry if yours isn't just like mine, that's okay, they're not supposed to be. It's all gonna be kind of different. All right, so now I've got three of each of the shapes. I have three rectangles, three hearts, three diamonds, and three teardrops, all right? Now, because I have three of each and I kind of spaced them out, see how I spaced out the orange, I spaced out the purple, and I spaced out the yellow? That helps your eye move around the paper and keep things interesting. Now the last thing you have to do, all right, is take this heart. You can put it anywhere you want, but I'd suggest putting it right kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna look and think, okay, I want the edge of my heart there. So I'm gonna put my finger down right there. I'm gonna lift my paper up and I'm going to place it so that I know the edge of this heart is right where my finger is. All right, and then you can kind of feel where it is. All right, so then I'm gonna take the red. And again, you can take any color you want, but I'm using red. I'm going to color I need to go a little bit past the shape, all right? I 
I go. All right. I'm all done with that one. Now see, I did two of them. I did one as my example before, and I did this one with you. And look at, I'm the same person, but they're different. So it just goes to show you, I certainly don't expect yours to look just like mine. My second one doesn't even look just like my first one, and that's okay. So I hope you have fun doing a little bit of a coloring and um, finding shapes and arranging them. Uh, I suggest that you keep your shapes in with your art supplies so that you'll have them next time we do something like this, okay? You won't have to remake them. And if you want to, the paper that you cut it out from, hold on to that too and we can use that in another lesson at another time, okay? Those are like little stencils. All right. Well, I hope you had fun in art class today. Thanks for joining me. Take care.